now on Eyewitness News, parents in Waterbury are fuming after a school announced its plans to close at the end of the school year. Leaders of St. Peter's and Paul School say low enrollment and rising costs are to blame. Channel 3's Shante Passmore is live now in the Brass City with how parents say that is simply not possible. Shante? Good evening. From the Archdiocese of Hartford to parents, everyone knew this school operated in the black. Now people want to know what went wrong. George Newjame walks his kids, savoring the few months left until these doors shut for good at Saints Peter and Paul School. The recent decision caused a wave of mixed emotions. Heartbroken, sad, um, felt like the rug was swept under us. This week, the Mary Mother of Church Parish notified families they must find a new school by fall. We sat down with the Archdiocese of Hartford, which said ultimately parishes have local control of closures. They've been investigating, you know, over these last years, stability, future, finances, student enrollment, you know, all those things seem to have been on a decline. But parents say someone gave a very generous donation. So what happened? I believe the bequest that was left was left to the parish and not to the school. Meaning the parish could use it for other ministries if it chose to. Now parents will have the option to enroll their kids into nearby Catholic elementary schools. We learned Sacred Heart High School will soon house a middle school. It would also bear the expenses. For the deputy superintendent of Catholic School, she says the writing was on the wall. Uh, there was a very transparent uh, knowledge of what was going on. Nothing was hidden. Maria Maynard said the school barely operated in the black, made budget cuts, combined classes, and even had the principal teach classes. Parents now question why didn't the parish do more? Well, you can't get and this move has a lot of parents concerned about overcrowding at the other schools. In fact, I had one parent come up and tell me there's a wait list at some of those schools. As for what will happen to this building, the parish tells me there are no immediate plans for it just yet. Live in Waterbury this evening, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.